All right, I've just bought a new computer. This is going to be a video about how to replace the hard drive with the solid state hard drive. Solid state hard drive is, of course, a lot faster, a lot more efficient, mostly just a lot faster, faster than a standard uh, drive. So this is an Acer Predator. It cost me $820 at uh, Tiger Direct refurbished. Uh, it's got Windows 7, 64-bit, uh, in Intel Core i7-2600 processor, uh, two gigabyte graphics card, eight gigs of RAM, two terabyte hard drive. So I'm gonna take that hard drive out and replace it with a solid state drive and then I'm gonna use that one to store my data. So I'll be running my video editing program on the solid state drive and have all the video on the uh, two terabyte hard drive. So this is the solid state drive that I've bought. Notice there's a 15 day return policy. This is a Patriot Pyro 120 gigabyte drive. It's gonna be $129 after I get my mail-in rebate back. You can find a 120 gigabyte solid state drive anywhere from $149 on up normally. So they've gotten a lot cheaper in the last couple of years and I figure I'll take advantage of that. So of course the first step is to create backup disks from your new computer. Or even or if it's an old computer, you can use whatever the backup utility is on that computer to create a backup disk or series of disks. And then once you have those disks, you put the hard drive, you take the old hard drive out, or you don't necessarily have to take it out. I'm just gonna pull and disconnect it. You put the new hard drive in with the recovery disks and you restore from the recovery disks and it's as if you have a new computer, except that the hard drive is super fast. So let's hook it up and see what happens. All right, here we are creating a factory default backup disk. Whatever computer you have is gonna have a different way to burn disks. They used to give you a disk with the computer, but now you have to burn your own backup disks. So, or I should say recovery disks. So this is an Acer computer. Most com computers you just go down to start and programs, and then you look for something that's the name of the computer, like HP, or in this case Acer, and then look at uh, recovery and backup and it will give you the option to create default backup disks. Now, once we've created these disks, we'll take the old hard drive out and put the solid state hard drive in and then restore the computer from these disks using the disk drive. And we'll tell it to use the uh, solid state drive as the main drive. And then after that, I'll put the second drive in, the regular two terabyte uh, standard type drive in there, which I can use to keep my data on. All right, this is the inside of the computer. So before you can uh, install the drive, really before you even buy a new drive, you wanna make sure that it has the same connectors. Now this new uh, solid state drive has SATA 3 connectors. And I went and looked on the internet uh, at the Acer website and found out that this particular computer also has SATA 3 connectors. Uh, if you don't have the same kind of connectors, then it may not work, or you may have to connect it somewhere else on the motherboard. This is where the hard drives connect. So you can see I have a few open ports here, but I'm not going to need to use them. Um, if we unplug, this is the C drive, or the it's going to soon to be the former C drive. So if we look, you can see that the connectors here and here are the same. So what I'm gonna do is take this drive out and install the solid state drive in its place. And then this is pretty cool, um, what Acer has done with their case design. I don't have an extra cable. I didn't buy one because I thought there might be one in the box and I didn't want to have to buy an extra part I didn't need. And there was no cable in the box with this hard drive. All I got was a hard drive. But on the Acer, I find that they built this thing into it, which is a removable hard drive holder that goes into this bay and you can see at the back of the bay there are the connectors that will hook right into the drive and those are already jacked into the motherboard if you follow the wires inside the case. So I'll just take the C drive and I'll put it in here and it'll become a D or E or F drive or whatever whatever letter the computer wants to give it as an auxiliary drive and the SATA drive is going to go in there and be the main drive. So let's see how that looks. Now I'm, I'm going to have to find a way to secure it in there. I think you can buy a plastic uh, brace that will fit this into the same size as a as a standard hard drive. I'm not really too worried about that because this is a desktop computer. I'm pretty much gonna put it down and it's gonna sit there for five years and not move around. So uh, it'll probably be fine just sort of balanced in there.
All right, now we boot it off of the recovery CD and see what happens. All right, it took a minute or two before it got to the, the options on the Acer system restore screen. So I'm gonna restore operating system to factory defaults. I tried completely restoring the computer to factory defaults and it told me that the hard drive wasn't big enough, which is weird. I think that's something to do with, uh, with the Acer recovery system because there's no way 120 gigabytes is not big enough for three DVDs worth of information to fit on. So I'm gonna redo this one, restore operating system. And it's going to erase all existing data on C. Go next. Patriot Pyro, 111.8 gigabytes. Next. This is action will erase everything. Go for it. Now, um, you don't have to watch this. Unfortunately, I have to watch this. I'm going to sit here with the cat. Hello, cat. And, uh,. Load up three disks worth of information and then we'll see how it does after that. All right, that took at least an hour, probably more like an hour and a half. So now it has restarted itself and it's going through all the Windows uh, setup stuff. So it looks like it worked. Um, let's, I'm gonna get it all set up. You don't have to watch that. And then I will see just how fast this solid state hard drive uh, starts up when we start up Windows from, from off. Alright, the solid state hard drive has been installed and in here, in the secret uh, backup disk drive spot, I've put the original 2 terabyte hard drive. So let's see how long it takes this thing to fire up from being turned off. Okay, ready? 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010, 1011, 1013, 1014, I think I skipped 12, 1015, 1016, 1017, 1018, 1019, 1020, 1021, 1022, 1023, 1024, 1025, 1026, 1027, 1028, secret password, 1030, 1031, 1032, so that's about in the neighborhood of 30 seconds, and then if we want to hit the internet, after 30 seconds, bam, open that up, bam, awesome, not awesome that there's a diver who died at 43, but awesome that we can get on the internet that quick if we want to do something a little more fancy. Open up paint. Paint opens right up. We are happy. So that's working. And if we go look at our computer, we see all these extra drives. Apparently it came partitioned from the factory already, but so we've got system files on E, we've got 890 gigabytes on the F drive and 922 gigabytes on the G drive. So these three drives are all the original hard drives, two terabyte hard drive from the computer. So I can run all my programs off of this one, the C drive, which still has 80 gigabytes free that I can use to put my video editing software and you know, if I want to run Photoshop or anything else I want to run fast, I'll put on the C drive. I've still got 80 gigabytes left there and then all of this space to load up videos. And I even have a lot of room in that case for another hard drive if I should happen to need it. So. Uh, that is just super awesome. This thing's gonna be good for at least the next five years until whatever is next after 1080p when they kind of start coming out with uh, 2160p video and the computer can't handle it, then I'll have to upgrade, but uh, we're good for the next few years anyway. All right, so how fast is fast? If you go to computer and properties, you can see the Windows user experience, the highest possible score is 7.9, so it gets a 6.7, but check this out. Um, can you read that? There you go. Calculations per second by the processor. So the processor gets 7.6 out of 7.9. The memory gets 7.6 out of 7.9, the RAM. The graphics card slows me down to 6.7. It's a pretty good graphics card, but it's not super ultra gaming. But check this out. Uh, primary hard disk, 7.9 out of 7.9. So it's the fastest computer in the world right now. You can't do better than 7.9 on this scale. So just based on that, pretty good deal for 
$129. I hope this helped. Thanks for watching. And I highly recommend making this change on your computer, especially if you're buying a new computer. For an extra $150, bucks, you can put everything on the solid state drive and make it run twice as fast as the... Uh, you know, a lot of them are coming with these green drives now that are energy efficient but not particularly fast. So, you know, just and a solid state drive is going to be even more efficient than the green drive because there's no moving parts. So you'll save energy, plus you'll be a whole heck of a lot faster. And if you're doing things like video or video games, it'll make a huge difference. So I hope this helped. Thanks for watching. Uh, good luck with your transition to solid state hard drive.